Namaste. My name is Dr. Ravi Ratan and I come from India. I'm a practitioner of clinical aromatherapy, combine it with chakra healing, lymphatic drainage, emotional clearing. So basically, I call my work as Aroma Tantra. Today, I'm going to share some of my views about aromatherapy and use of essential oils to prevent coronavirus. That's the hot topic today because this pandemic does not have a solution, does not have a cure, and it's very important we save ourselves from this pandemic. And essential oils are the best things which can be used to prevent and cure coronavirus. Why I tell you. In early 1300s, when there was a babonic plague in Europe, people were dying everywhere. And the people, only people who survived were the ones who were in doing perfumery, essential oils, and the people were burning herbs at the corners of the street to get rid of the plague. That's the thing which saved us at that time. And that's the thing which is going to save us now also. Essential oils are the therapeutic components of the plants like in herbalism or Ayurveda, we use whole a part of the plant, but in aromatherapy, we use only the volatile extracts of the plant, which are called essential oils. Essential oils are the volatile extracts of the plant. That means they evaporate as soon as they are exposed to air. And when they evaporate and when they are exposed to air, they evaporate and travel to our nose and we can smell them. That's why we call them aromatic essential oils because each essential oil has certain kind of smell and that smell also has a therapeutic effect on our, on our psyche because when these essential oils vapors travel to our nose, at the seat of our nose, we have something called olfactory patch of cells and these olfactory patch of cells is connected with an olfactory nerve. That olfactory nerve connects with the part of the brain we call limbic section of the brain, which is the middle part of the brain. We have a left brain and a right brain and the middle part of the brain is the smallest portion, which is called the limbic section of the brain. And this part of the brain is basically the part associated with our memories and emotions. And when we smell something, it provokes our memories and emotions. So that is the best thing we can use for smell because each essential oil, according to the rate of volatility, has an effect our, on our mind. An oil which evaporates quickly, hits our nose faster, gets to our brain faster is something like a stimulant. It stimulates our mind, it stimulates our emotions. An oil which evaporates slowly or gently is kind of relaxing and soothing for the mind and emotions. There's an oil which could be sweet, pervading, and that kind of smell are sedative to our mind. That's about the smell. And how do they work on our body? Now, to understand that, you need to understand what essential oils are made up of. They are made up of volatile extracts. These are the volatile extracts made up of aromatic chemicals. Aromatic chemicals are organic chemicals and each essential oil is a mixture of various organic chemicals. These essential essential oils had been the blueprint of the modern medicine also. It's not that it's hypothetical. They have been analyzed in the laboratory and the healing properties of various chemicals has been like uh, they are chemicals which are called alcohols. These are aromatic alcohols which are 
all found to be very good bactericidal and antiseptic. They are components which we call esters, which are supposed to be very good anti-inflammatory. They are components which are called terpenes. Terpenes are good antiviral, antiseptic, and uh, they are mild antiseptic. They are stimulating to the brain, and they are strong chemicals, and they sometimes can irritate the skin. Then they are ketones. Ketones are very strong smelling components of the plant, but they are very good bactericidals. So they are oxides. Oxides are also analgesic. They relieve pain. They relieve congestion of the chest. And they are also antiviral in nature. So different components of the essential oils have different therapeutic properties and depending which essential oil is having predominantly which kind of chemicals it makes the essential oils properties now in general all essential oils are antiseptic antibacterial but some of them are having other properties like some of antiviral some are uh, anti-inflammatory some are having hormone regulatory effect on the body. Some are diuretic in nature. Some are analgesic. Some are decongestant. So depending on the chemical composition of the essential oils, essential oils have various properties. And these properties we experience through the application on the skin. Now, when we apply essential oil on the skin, they have physical effect and physiological effect. A physical effect and it can be felt when you get hurt, you apply an essential oil and you get relief from your pain, sprain, muscle pull and all that. These are the physical. At the physiological level, these essential oils create a physiological impact like they can regulate the hormone, they can be moving the fluids in the body and act as diuretic. So different kind of effects take place. Now, a lot of people are concerned that essential oils are applied on the skin so they may not be as effective as the medicine they take orally. Now, my question is, does your body absorb everything you put in your mouth? Our digestive system is selective. We eat different kind of food. We eat a lot of junk also. And our digestive system does not absorb everything we eat. Our digestive system absorbs what our body needs and eliminates the rest. This is what happens with the digestive system that it absorbs what our body needs and whatever our body does not need is eliminated from the body. While skin is a semi-permeable membrane, you apply whatever you can penetrate on the skin, essential oils can penetrate because they have minuscule components and 20 to 40% of the essential oils penetrate through the skin. When essential oils penetrate to the top layers of the skin, where do they go? They get mixed with our lymphatic system. They move through our lymphatic system in the body and get over every part of the body. The best example of the absorption of the essential oil I can give you is if you have a piece of garlic, cut it, and the juice of the garlic you rub at the sole of your foot, and you can smell it instantly in your mouth. So this is for how quickly the absorption takes place in the body and how quickly the oils move in the body. So essential oils are effective. Now which essential oils to use for treatment of coronavirus? Now one of the most important essential oils to be used is eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is very good. It is a decongestant oil, penetrates easily. It's also analgesic, releases body aches and pains, but it is also antiviral. And clinical trials, it has been found that 
Antiviral properties of eucalyptus can be enhanced when it is used in combination with limonene. Limonene is an active ingredient of lemon oil. So that means you can combine eucalyptus oil with lemon oil to create an antiviral effect. And if you use that on your daily basis, you can vaporize the oil in the room so it will protect the environment from the viral uh, the virus. You can also use a drop of the oil under your nose, at your throat, at your chest, at your forehead. I actually prepared a blend. I call it Protect. This is the blend called Protect. And I use it every day, at least twice a day. Just a drop under my nose, on my throat, on my forehead. And that's it. That, that's what protects me. If you want just a protection, use it twice a day. But if you are infected, if you are infected with coronavirus, you have to use it five to six times a day. You don't have to do anything else. Within two to three days, your viral infection will get under control. Your fever will come down. You will not get chest and lungs infection. That's the most important. Another thing, which is very good to prevent the chest and lungs infection is Tulsi oil. Tulsi is holy basil. Holy basil, come, typically this oil comes from India. That's the plant which has been used in Ayurveda for thousands of years for respiratory disorders and chesty cup. This is an amazing oil. This is also a mental stimulant, but it is very good for chesty cough and throat congestion. I use it in my blend called Vastu oil. This is my Vastu blend. And I blend it with frankincense, cinnamon, sage, and cloves. And this is the oil I drink in water. I put few drops in my drinking water like this. And drink it two to three times a day. And this blend is very good to keep your throat safe. You cannot get any throat nasal or chest infection if you are drinking this plant. Normally essential oils are not to be taken inside but this oil, Tulsi oil can be taken inside and it is very effective and it works very well. So eucalyptus in combination with lemon oil to be smelled like in my combination I also use peppermint, I also use frankincense and tea tree in my protect blend and in my vastu blend i use tulsi holy basil cinnamon frankincense and cloves so you can either use your oils or you can buy a combination and mix it and prepare yourself or you can go on my website www.aromatantra.com a r o m a t a n t r a dot com aromatantra.com you can bu buy a single oil and try using it it will definitely protect you from coronavirus and in case you got coronavirus infection it will reverse the symptoms within three to five days instead of you suffering for 14 to 21 days trust me it works other oils which we use in aromatherapy are tea tree oil. Tea tree is an excellent antiseptic oil. It's very good antiseptic, antibacterial and antifungal oil. I use it in my blend called healer. And healer I use for healing any kind of cut, wound, sores, ulcers, in fact, I developed this blend when I was treating somebody for bad sores. This gentleman was bedridden for more than 10 years and he developed very big bad sores on his hips 
and buttocks. He was admitted to the top Mumbai hospital for three months and they were trying to treat his bad sores and they were not healing. They even tried to do skin grafting. They took the skin from the thigh and put it on the buttocks and the on the patch where they had the bad sores, but it did not work. Ultimately, hospital doctor said, we can't do anything more than what we have done for this person. So you can take it home and try whatever. So I suggested his brother to use the essential oils. They were initially skeptical, but since there was nothing working, they tried using the oils. And to their amazement, the oils worked. Within a week, the healing was visible. Within 15 days, they could see almost the bad sores were heal, heal, healed. And by 21 days, the bad sores were healed completely. So, this is the blend I created. I said, okay, let people can use it for any kind of cut, burn, gangrenous wound, acne, boils. You can use it anywhere. So, this is a blend containing tea tree oil, but it also contains lavender. Lavender oil is very good all rounder because it's antiseptic, antibacterial, analgesic. It's a mild oil. It can be used directly on the skin. But my lavender, the lavender I use, is different than the lavender you get in the market. The way lavender you get in the market is a first distilled oil and a lot of time it is not even distilled properly because these people to increase the yield they use leaves, twigs with the flowers and the smell doesn't go, smell good. The lavender I get is basically the lavender which is prepared for perfumery industry. Because in perfumery industry, you cannot use an oil with a lot of water inside. The natural lavender has a lot of water inside. So it has to be redistilled, purified. And that lavender is very good in a skin application for cut, burn, bruise, insect bite, muscle pull, muscle sprain. It also helps regulate blood pressure, especially when you rub it on the, on the sole of the feet. It regulates blood pressure. It also promotes very good sleep. It's very good rejuvenating oil. So it's an all round oil. I mean, those who use my lavender, they are very fond of it and they cannot live without it. Trust me. So this has lavender, tea tree, uh, and German chamomile. The, I'm talking about healer oil. The chamomile, German chamomile and Roman chamomile, they are two kinds of chamomiles. German chamomile is blue chamomile and it is considered to be the best anti-inflammatory. Best anti-inflammatory. Now, inflammation can be at any part of the body. A sore, where, where there's a bad sore or a sore on the skin or an acne or any kind of rashes are also inflammation of the skin. In fact, even the pain in the muscles is also due to inflammation of the muscles and ligament. And German chamomile oil is very good oil for controlling the inflammation. It can be used in a not only the healer blend, it can be used in a pain relief blend, it can be used in a digestive blend, it can be used in a gynecological blend for if women get rashes down there. So it is amazing oil. Now, another favorite oil of mine is clary sage. Now, clary sage has two main properties. One is it is a good hormonal oil. I, I rather say it's a good hormone regulatory oil because there is a difference between hormonal and hormone regulatory. A hormonal is a medicine. You take a pill which is hormonal, it will work on your hormones, whether your body needs it or not. So if your body doesn't need it, it will create a side effect. But a hormone regulatory thing which will work on your body helps regulate your hormones. If your body doesn't need it, it does not create a side effect. So clary sage has a component called scleriol. 
Scleriol is the component which re re resembles human steroids. And that's why it is having a hormone regulatory effect on the body. Now, hormone regulatory effect is very good, especially to treat women's menstrual imbalances. A woman, when she has a menstrual imbalance, say she has issues with the menstruation, scanty menstruation, painful menstruation, combine clarisage oil with juniper berry. Juniper berry is a very good diuretic. So combine clarisage with juniper berry and add to it marjoram oil. Marjoram oil prevents muscular cramps. So this combination can be used in combine, combination with habob oil, rub in the pubic region and a woman can re get rid of the uh, menstrual issues. So this is very good to regulate hormones. I mean, it can also be used to regulate your thyroid. It can also be used for in a hair combination. Basically, a lot of women, when they are losing hair, they, are, they don't realize it is due to hormonal imbalance. A, if a woman is aging and she is losing hair, it is mainly due to hormonal imbalance. And that's why I use this oil in my hair combination. I In my hair combination, I call it scalp tone. I combine Ayurvedic herbs of Amla, Brahme, Bhingraj plus Haboba and also clary sage, yelang yelang, rosemary, kade. So these are the oils which can be used for hair care. Now, another aspect of clary sage oil, like I told you that there are two major properties to clary sage. One is the hormone regulatory. Another is sedative. It's an excellent sedative oil. It can put you to sleep in no time. Those who have insomnia have a sleep issue, they should try smelling clary sage. You won't believe. I used to use clary sage oil to put my kids to sleep. When I started practicing aromatherapy, my kids were small and they were not sleeping in night and the morning they had to take a bus to the school. I used to put a drop on my palm and rub it on their night dress and that's how I used to put them to sleep. So it's an amazing oil because it is a sedative. It also helps reduce blood pressure because people who have hypertension, it helps reduce hypertension and high blood pressure also. Now, since this oil is hormone regulatory, it cannot be used on pregnant women. And since this oil promotes sleep, it cannot be used before you are driving. So these are certain cautions you have to take in mind, but it is an excellent oil. Another very good oil is juniper berry. Juniper berry is the best diuretic. Best diuretic in aromatherapy besides being an antibacterial and antiseptic oil. Is very good antiseptic, antibacterial, astringent. It has astringent properties also and it is a diuretic oil. Diuretic means it moves the fluids. It moves the lymph in your body. So I use it in my combination for slimming. Well, you need, if you want to lose inches, you need to move the fluids in your body. To move the fluids, you have to move the lymph. So this is the best oil to move the lymph in the body. Same way I add it in my pain relief combination because a lot of time pain is either because of inflammation of the muscles and ligaments or due to fluid retention. If there is a fluid retention in the body and joints, the fluid will put pressure on the muscles and joints and will cause pain. So I also use, add it in my pain relief combination. This this oil is also very good for as a treatment for acne. This also is very good oil for oily skin. So it's an excellent oil, juniper berry. Another oil which is very good is marjoram. Marjoram is a oil which is having digestive properties. It helps digestion, but it is also having an analgesic properties and it works on muscular pains, spasmic pains. Now, spasmic pains women experience when they have menstrual cramps 
or when you have digestive pain, pain which also increases as muscular spasm, increase in intensity, decreases in intensity. So I also use it in my gynecological blend and also use it in my blend called Aroma Digest which is meant for digestion, rubbing on the belly. And trust me, by rubbing the oil on the belly, it penetrates inside. It goes inside the body and helps in the digestive problems. It also helps clear bloating. Now, besides juniper berry, marjoram, there is another very good oil. And that is cypress. Cypress is an oil which is having styptic properties. Styptic properties are it controls, tightens the blood vessels and stops the blood loss. Ancient Chinese used to chew the berries of this plant to prevent the bleeding of their teeth and gums. I've, I've used this combination in my oral care. I use cypress oil along with club oil and tea tree oil in my oral care to be massaged on the teeth and gums. If anybody is having any kind of teeth and gums infection, use the oral care oil. Use a drop, massage on your teeth and gums. Within a week, your dental infection is cleared. You don't have to go in for a dental procedure. I can assure you, it works amazing. So this is very good oil. Then another very good oil is frankincense. Now you know frankincense. Frankincense is burned as a resin. It's a resin oil. It burned in the churches to cleanse the energies. But frankincense oil is also being used by people to reverse cancer. Cancer, uh, frankincense oil is a very good rejuvenator of the skin. It's a very good oil for skin care. It's also considered to be antiviral. And again, that's why I use it. Frankincense in my Vastu oil in combination with Tulsi. I also use frankincense in my Protect oil in combination with eucalyptus, lemon, and I use frankincense, tea tree, and peppermint. Now coming to peppermint oil. Peppermint is very good oil for uplifting. It's, it helps the penetration of the essential oil. Now a lot of time people are scared of using essential oils. They are certain category of people who feel allergic to smells but they do not realize they are allergic to synthetic smells. They are allergic to chem chemical smells. They are like perfumes are chemicals. And if you are using chemical based smell, you are allergic to them. But if you smell a clean smell of peppermint oil, that's excellent. In fact, peppermint oil is the best treatment for asthma and bronchitis. I was traveling in India. and I mean, a few years back, I was traveling in India and I visit. I was visiting my sister and who was suffering for asthma. And while we were chit chatting, and she had an asthma attack, and I took out my peppermint oil. She was initially reluctant to use it, but I told her to try. And in one whiff of peppermint oil, her asthma attack stopped. Now this is the power of essential oils. Now, this peppermint oil is also very good to control hot flushes in women. If a woman is suffering from hot flushes, the only oil she needs to use is peppermint oil. Put two drops of peppermint oil in water and drink. And whatever remains in water, when the oil remains in water, take that water and rub it on your face. Wipe your face with that. Instantly, your hot flushes will clear out. That's the best treatment for hot flushes. So you can use these essential oils. There are many more essential oils I can tell. You can read my book, Handbook of Aromatherapy. It gives you information on the benefits of essential oils. You can look at my products at my website, www.aromatantra.com. And if you have any questions, you can also ask me, you can write to me on my website and it will come to me. I'll do reply to the questions and 
I hope you will try using essential oils to prevent coronavirus or if somebody has got it, I tell you to try the oils first because medical field does not have a cure for coronavirus yet. Once again, my website is www.aromatantra.com A-R-O-M-A-T-A-N-T-R-A.com Thank you very much. Namaste.